Cliff in Dallas, Texas writes to me, Paul, I know you don't still use a Mac Mini for your music system, but I have a question. In both Autorvana and BitPerfect, there is a setting for integer. What is this and what's it for? Thanks for your informative videos. Okay, well, I'm not exactly sure, but I can give you a pretty educated guess and it'll get you where you need to go. So an integer is a whole number, five, six, seven, that's, that's an integer. A, the opposite of an integer, of course, is a fraction, something like a decimal point, right? And so in, in, I believe in the max, they basically have two means of processing audio signals. And one is called a floating point, and the other is a fixed point. And why they didn't just call it fixed point, floating point, I don't know. But for whatever reason, I'm pretty sure the fixed point is what they're calling integer mode, and the floating point is what they're calling floating point. I think they actually call it floating point. But that's the difference between those two. So one, a floating point, uh, you can have fractions, you can have this, the decimal point is floating. It goes, uh, you know, depending on uh, how complicated you want to make the math in this, it can, it can move back and forth uh, to whatever degree of precision that is called for where an integer or a fixed point is what it is. It's 16 bits, 20 bits, whatever. So this floating point versus fixed point, the difference I don't know that you're going to hear a difference, but I would guess that floating point is going to take more processing power, potentially, than a fixed point or an integer mode. And therefore, that's probably why they're giving you the choice. So from a sonic standpoint, my guess is if your Mac Mini is a little bit marginal, run it in integer mode, and that'll put less strain and stress on the computer. Hope that helps. Thanks.